Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal Channel, and today we're going to open some more PO Box mail. Now, if you follow these videos, you will know that I'm actually very, very behind. I have a big shopper filled with mail um, that I have to show you and that I want to show you and that I'm excited to open, but I've just been working a lot and um, <laughs> just a lot of things happening in general that made it difficult for me to film, sit down, craft, have some peace of mind and actually take my time, give everyone the attention they deserved. So I'm a bit behind, but I'll catch up, I'm sure. I also know that I'm getting a lot more meal now. I'm gonna try this one, a lemon organic green tea. I also know that I'm getting a lot more mail now because of course the borders were closed for a little bit or post offices or a lot of mail get, got held back so now I'm getting an extra amount of mail which is pretty excessive I might add. I'm getting um, on average one piece of mail every day in my PO box which is absolutely insane. I feel so spoiled and it's just I cannot believe it like I will probably never get used to that. So. Today we're again going to try and make a dent into the meal opening again. I'm going to try and do these differently. I already told you that in the previous video, so I will work with dates instead of PO Box opening number 30.123, which also means that I'm going to tell you every time how much mail I have sent out. Um, that will mean that it sounds like it's less mail I'm sending out, but that's just because I am telling you about it more frequently. That being said, I do have to say that I did not send out that much mail lately because, as I said, it's just been absolutely crazy. So in the previous video, I should have told you about mail I sent out to Heather in the USA and then some other ones, but that's just the last one. And then in between that video and this video, I have sent out mail to Anna Marijn in the Netherlands. I've sent out mail to Mario in Finland and to Leah in Germany. Um, I'm also working on some more mail. I just need to write the letters and then we will um, hopefully have some more to share here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just giving myself a little bit more time. Anywho, we are going to get started with opening these now. One little thing I do want to tell you is that I already mark these envelopes because this one says week 29 that's the week, week 26 and that's the week i picked them up and then others will already have week 29 because they're just all in one big pile now but i just want to let you know that if you see that week 26 29 28 something that just means um the date that i picked them up so that's not their doing that's my doing <clears throat> We're first going to start with this envelope from Sarah. I am super excited about this. Um, I have not looked at it yet, but Sarah makes the prettiest things as seen on Instagram. She also decorated this with this really pretty little tea themed paper and these really nice um, stamps. And it's quite funny because I sometimes talk to Sarah on Instagram, we occasionally talk, and she said that she sent this so long ago, the letter should be kind of awkward because that was from before we kind of met. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how things have changed. I'm just looking for my letter opener. Also, will you look at that gorgeous wax seal that she made? Absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to try opening that. And then this ugly orange thing, paper scrap, is actually from me trying to cover up her address, of course. In the bottom here it says, thank you Mr. and Mrs. Meal Woman or Meal Man, which is so cute. Whoa. Oh, she used some more of that beautiful tea themed paper and another little wax seal. Oh, it has little loose elements. Hi friend, this is a little postcard for me to use. That's cute, I love those botanicals. And this looks handmade. Oh, huh. I painted this, I hope you like peonies. Are you kidding, I love that. That's beautiful. That's like the whole reason I wanted to do watercolors. I wanna learn how to do that. So that's a little die cut she made for me. And then of course, the most important part is this beautiful flip book. Look at that little, nice little trim, I think. I cannot open this because the wax seal is on there. I'll just kind of slide it off. Oh, that's pretty. 
Oh yeah. Oh, this. <laughs> okay, wait. This little tag says Vivian, but of course I cannot flip that around because of the wax seal. But her handwriting is so pretty. Oh, I think this is that bookbinding style that I did a video about. It definitely is. That's so fun to see. I did a video on this bookbinding style. Um, I learned that from someone else. So it's not my idea, but it's a really, really sturdy and fun way to do a flip book. I'll link that down below. Although mine had... Did it have envelopes? I kind of forgot. I think it had envelopes, right? Yeah. But she made it with uh, flip book pages. Wow, that is so pretty. I like her wax seals. I absolutely live for them. Another one here with some beautiful dried flowers. There's a little envelope here. Oh, it has some tea. Oh, it's too bad. I already picked a tea. Otherwise, I could have tried this one. I make that mistake every time. Perfect peach herbal tea. Just like a freshly baked peach pie, but in a teacup. Oh, that sounds nice. It's herbal, so I could put it in the herbal tea basket. Oh, that and I love the paper you chose as well. And then here, some more elements. Ooh, sticker, some more of those hand painted um, florals. <clears throat> I love the look of that, and I think I could actually do that, so I need to try. <laughs> Beautiful washi tape sticker and these cute little tags. Oh, they have some space for writing, so that would be perfect for a mail tag. And then whenever I use the word mail tag, I get questions about it. People saying, Vivian, what is a mail tag? Or even, what is a meal tag? <laughs> um, a mail tag basically is a, a small list of questions for your pen pal. You could write like, what's your superhero name or, or what is your favorite flavor of tea? Stuff like that. Just little questions that you send your pen pal, your pen pal answers them and sends you back some questions of her own. So it's like tag, you're it, but then with questions. Oh, I love your style. Oh, another little envelope. Oh, oh yay, washi tapes. Oh my God. That is such a coincidence. She must have laughed. She must have laughed because she did a video on Instagram and I asked her, hey, where did you get that green grid washi type? And she sent me the link and now I actually have a sample. But this, she sent me this months or at least weeks before I asked her that. So she must have laughed. <laughs> That's so cool. This is definitely my favorite. It's a beautiful dark green grid washi. And the other ones have grid as well. Such a funny coincidence. I'm absolutely obsessed with grid washies. I don't know if you are too, or if you did this just for me, but I am thankful. And then the other sample just has really pretty little leaves and botanicals. Very cute. And then another little pocket. It's stuffed with goodies. Oh, stamps. Something is stuck. Oh, ah, stamps and wax seal stamps. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I haven't seen... I like... This one, this, like I know this design, a pen pal of mine has it too and it's absolutely gorgeous, but this one is new to me. It's little leaves. These little leaves. Oh, pretty. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I, whenever I receive wax seals, I always doubt, like I always, I don't know whether to use them or to hoard them. Uh, priority sticker and some stamps. Very nice. I love this little tea theme going through the entire flip book. And then this page has some decorated tags. Another wax seal. And, oh, this is stuck a little bit. Oh, a little tea tag. That is so cute. Really pretty. I love her style. It's funny how you have like two very different styles that go so well together. It's like this colorful new and then this one with the vintage paper and the vintage, the dried flowers and everything. Definitely two of my favorites. And then what's in here? This might be the letter, I think. Yeah, that's the letter, so I will save that for after the video. But like I said, I really look forward to reading that because so much must have changed 
between her sending this and me actually reading that. I'll just leave it there. I think that's the last page. How pretty. Absolutely love that. That is so nice. Thank you so much, Sarah. I cannot wait to read your letter. I'll just take it out and put it aside before I lose that. And I'm definitely going to hoard that green grid washi forever. <laughs> Next up is another one from that week 26 pile. It's this one from Jane. Again, these gorgeous stamps. So this one with the, the, the black rose. Absolutely gorgeous. It's from Ireland and they seem to have the coolest stamps. And she decorated it with some florals and some stickers. And then inside, I did open this, but then I left it closed because it looks like such a neat little package. I wanted to open it with you all on camera, but I can see some napkins, which I'm very happy about because I absolutely love doing decoupage. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's a... Uh... Oh, it's wrapped in a napkin. That is clever. So it's this napkin, which I'm going to reuse with these bright little owls. Owls for a nun non-native english speaker the word owls owl owls is very difficult to pronounce and then all of these little elements let's just start with this one bright orange little kitty cat lots of little gemstones and it's filled with goodies Whoa, oh a lot of stickers well it's packed with stickers Oh, look at that beautiful pastel colors. Make a wish. These little popsicle sticks. Wait, let me just put that on the table so you can see all of these little vintage looking stickers. stickers. <laughs> they came out really weird. That's so nice. Follow my feet. Little kitty cat. And then another envelope. Oh. Well, oh shoot, I think this came off, it's supposed to be there. This is a big envelope, it might be her letter, but it also has a beautifully decorated card and a postcard for me to use. Oh, this is another flipbook, wow, you've been on a roll. Hello Vivian, love from Jane and Swartz. Oh, she made this with her cousin, how cute, or niece. It's niece, right, I always forget. This little wooden chipboard and this cute adorable little card with all of these vintage cameras and uh, music discs and a sewing machine i have to think really hard because that's not words i normally use how cute <laughs> how cute you have a little niece to craft with and then this is the last element it says perfect and it has don't want to damage anything. Oh wait, the letter is here. So I'll save that for last. Oh, it has a beautiful little, a beautiful little ballerina on there. Just pop that in the envelope so it doesn't get mixed up with all of the goodies. And then we have all of these decorated pops these very colorful decorated popsicle sticks sending love and best wishes from across the miles and just for you and then oh <laughs> all these little pull out pieces with a sticker on the back oh this is cute less monday more summer and then i don't know if i can open this i think this is just a one big triangle pocket where all of the goodies were in very cool very cool she always has these hidden oh there's something else in there <laughs> she always has these hidden pockets for me to use for me to like search for and really really cute thank you jane i cannot wait to read your letter i don't know if i think this it, we're in chronological order now so this should be your first letter because uh, in the next pile, there's also some meal from Jane, so I'll need to keep them in chronological order, so to speak. But I'm sure the new week system is going to help with that. So thank you so much for that. I'm definitely going to be using all of your goodies very, very soon, hopefully. 
when I get some crafty inspiration again. And I cannot wait to read what you and your little niece have been up to. The mail is this one. It's from Lois. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I actually have a, a co-worker with the same name and then it's pronounced Lois. So I hope your name is pronounced that way as well. And she decorated this really, really nicely with a little collage. I do have to say one thing. This is, it doesn't really matter, but this is just for your financial situation. You used too many stamps. I think you could have done just three stamps. That would have been enough. So for next time, it's definitely cheaper to just do the three stamps. And if you're not sure, you can always check the Postanel website because they, um, you can fill in the weight of your letter and then they'll tell you how many stamps you need. Inside, first of all, the back has this adorable washi tape with these little hearts. And inside is a letter from me, which has the same style of decorating, which I really, really like. Penpal.loys and then also this adorable little Monstera leaf sticker and this pack that says goodies and inside is a whole lot. I love how everything is matched together so nicely. Look at that. Such a clever idea. And inside a whole lot of goodies we've got some more tea. We've got caramel vanilla. Excuse me, that sounds absolutely perfect. And we've got green tea raspberry strawberry. Which I haven't tried yet, but that should be good. Uh, green tea is caffeinated. In case you're wondering, this one is caffeinated tea, this one is herbal teas, so that's why they're in separate baskets. So at night I'll pull from the herbal tea basket and during the day I can take caffeinated tea as well. Okay, which one to look at first? This little goodie bag has something very cool inside. Some stickers, some whoa, very puffy stickers. Look at that little camera, and this one also puffy a little um, sewing machine. I have a thing for puffy stickers, I don't know. And then all of these little elements, I'll just put them on the table. Cute little house, little girl stickers. No drama, <laughs> and some washi tape stickers, which I love. And which I have way too many of. <laughs> All of these little stickers from me. Very cute. I always, whenever I receive a mail from you, from any one of you, I always wonder like, do you have pen pals? Do you craft just for you? I know a lot of people have bullet journals. I, I actually receive letters sometimes, believe it or not, from people who do not pen pal but who wanted to write me for a one-time thing and that's so fun like because I know <laughs> that once you do once you write your first letter and once you receive a letter you will be hooked <laughs> so I always hope that people that write to me kind of get inspired and want to write more often and then we have this little note which is a day planner morning afternoon evening and in between there's nothing in between <laughs> I don't know and then all of these sticky notes Many of these can be very perfect for address labels. But I think, I always think if you have this many sticky notes, you're definitely into pen paling, right? And then some black sticky notes, which is very cool. And these adorable little notes. And also, I just realized this now, I think I missed this. She actually sent me that cute washi type adorable and some other ones i have a feeling this looks like hema washi type like the, the blonde amsterdam type or hema i have a feeling just because of the style but it's absolutely adorable and i do not have that yet and then some pie pie themed notes half a pie never never ever accept half a pie i always get the whole <laughs> and then this little baggie with some more it's like a magpie bag. It has some ribbon, it has some sequins, it has a little button in there and some little cutouts. Beautiful girl. Oh, it's actually, it's not regular sequins, it's Lucky Clovers. Ooh, cute. That one that says nerd. Could actually put that in my journal, I think. My uh, planner, I mean. 
Oh, beautiful. So many little elements. My patrons, people who support me over on Patreon, they challenged me to do a mail made with just goodies received from subscribers only. But that's gonna be so easy because you guys send me entire packs of goodies. <laughs> I have plenty for making a mail. I just need to figure out when. Because right now I'm actually working on a Patreon only video. A little monthly challenge we're working on. I just. The reason why I'm doing this video now is because I'm doing something that needs to dry. So when it's drying, I'm just going to go and film a beer books opening video. Thank you so much for that, Lois. As everyone else, your um, mail also goes into the folder. I randomly pick from the folder every now and then uh, to see who I reply to. It goes very randomly. I just use a random number generator and everyone gets the same chance. Uh, unless you, of course, write to me more often than you go into the folder more often. But other than that, it's the same for everyone. So I don't pick favorites or anything like that. We have two more from this pile. And then I'll also pick one from the next pile. Because otherwise, it's going to take six more years because before I go through all of them. I have this one from Chantala and I have this one from... Oh, it just says P.O. Books. Okay, I'll, I'll read the letter and I'll tell you who this is from, from Canada. There's a fun fact about this washi tape, because I saw that washi tape, fell absolutely in love with it, felt kind of jealous and I wanted it for myself. And then uh, what, um, a um, AliExpress order came in and I actually have the exact same washi tape. The only difference is yours has black font and mine is grey. How weird is that? Like we have the exact same washi tape, but it's still slightly different. Because look, here it says Vivimus twice, and there it also says Vivimus twice. I have no idea what that means. But anyway, I just thought that was a fun fact, especially because it's right there, because it's now my favorite washi tape. Let's do this one first. I'll quickly take out the letter to show you who it's from. Oh, yes, I remember this letter because I'm very, very honest your handwriting yeah if i'm very very honest it's very rude but your handwriting is a tad difficult for me to read but it's from jennifer jennifer from canada i'll just pop that back and then she sent me all of these adorable little envelopes some of these cute papers oh, how cute it's double-sided which is absolutely perfect florals on one side and butterfly on the other and then this has blue florals and yellow which is so nice and then a little envelope with inside all of these little cutouts and stamped images little pieces for collages and all of these look she stamped all of these for me these for example say handmade which is so cute to put on an envelope or on the back of a flip book walk that came out really weird so all of these little elements i could use for decorating especially i especially like the handmade one i don't think i have a stamp that says handmade i definitely feel like i need one now <laughs> and then last but not least is this little envelope and i have not actually looked at that yet because first of all how much do you love this paper i'm just going to try and take that apart <gasps> Okay, how much do you love that paper? I love the outside, but the inside is absolutely gorgeous. But there's this. It's wrapped shut, and I have a feeling it might be dried flowers, and that's why I left it closed, because I wanted to look at that with you all. And I was afraid of ruining it, not gonna lie. <gasps> yes! It's, 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 well, it's pressed flowers and leaves well look at how bright that color is a little lucky clover and these adorable little florals what a clever idea of pressing that between two pieces of cardstock how cute how cute i'm gonna use these for wax seals for sure for sure just carefully put that back this is such a clever idea i never thought of wrapping them that way but yes, this is something that I need to do. This is something that I need to do. So all of these little elements. Ah, 
I had a feeling it would be pressed flowers. I'm so happy that it was. And then of course your letter. Same as everyone else. Into the folder it goes. And then the last piece of mail from this bag. Let me just make sure I got everything. Yeah, and the last piece of mail is this one from Chantala. I replied to Chantala a little while ago. Let me see how long. I That's the good thing about the Photo Diary app. I have a Photo Diary app called Diro, and it can, it, I take a picture of all outgoing mail so that I can remember who I've replied to and when, and I also can remember, for example, which washi tape samples I've already shared. And I sent mail to Chantala in March, at the end of March this year. So she replied to me quite quickly, I might add, because I always take four months or something. <laughs> and then of course, Chantelle has already received a reply once, but she will still go in the folder. It's just, it's, oh, oh, did I damage that? It's just not like a guaranteed reply because it's the same as the times before. Okay, I slightly damaged something inside. I'm so sorry. The envelope is so tight, I accidentally hit that with the scissors when I try to open it. Oh, that is nice. Oh, look at that. The envelope has a... Oh my, oh my god, that's terrible. Yeah, the envelope has like gold silver foiling on the inside. That is so cool. <laughs> and then it's wrapped with this beautiful tissue paper. I'm going to reuse that for decoupaging, I'm thinking. Very good, Vivian. Damage all of that. <laughs> I just said that I was going to reuse it and then I damage it. Oh well. And inside all of these little elements, we've got a little beautiful little collage envelope. <gasps> Forgetting my tea. Mm. Lemon tea always makes me feel super healthy. Let me just open that. Oh, oh, stamps. Oh, oh, it's it's all. Is this all in one color? Is this a coincidence? Did you really color coordinate these little stamps? That is cute. There's one more in there. Come out. There we go. <gasps> she color coordinated this. That is so clever. I love receiving stamps, and I love sending stamps. But sending all in one color is even cooler that is so clever why did i never think of that all in like this purplish red color turn that is so clever i definitely have enough stamps to do something like that that is clever i like that see i'm learning so much from all of you this one says for vivian Oh, oh, this is a coincidence. We got another Voozle and Pip tea. It's a different one. This one is a black tea strawberry. Black tea strawberry. Oh, this is the note. Dear Vivian, how super nice to receive something from you. Aww. Aww, that's so sweet. I won't read you all the letter because that's, of course, personal, but that's so cute. Oh, sorry, look at this adorable, this adorable me. <laughs> Okay, um, we reached the 30 minute mark, so we got cut off, but um, this little thingy said, pull me, and I pulled it, and out came this little washi tape sample. How adorable. I think that must have been cut off. That's adorable. I also like this little pocket. And then, oh, we have a little couch. <laughs> That's so clever. It's like an illustration of a couch, and she put some pillows on it, and a little kitty. And then here is this little tab, tab that has little washi tape stickers. I call everything little, but these are actually little and absolutely adorable. I think my um, love for washi tape stickers is spreading. Look how pretty the colors of these are. And a little hydrangea. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. I love how you have like this background piece and how you added pieces on top of that such as this little floral element and this little kitty cat that is adorable that's absolutely adorable and then inside are also two beautiful postcards from stationary world 
uh, webshop stationery world. This one looks like a pregnant lady and funnily enough, funnily enough, I know someone that looks just like that. Who's going to have a baby or at least early stages of uh, pregnancy. I actually gotta put that aside. That is beautiful. I also love the background. Illustrated in Brazil. Look at that. It has beautiful leaves. On the background. And then this one. Oh, that's adorable. She has the best postcard, I'm telling you. This little panda. And on the back is again the panda and these little hearts. You're very good at designing these things, let me tell you. I mean, I know it's designed, illustrated in Brazil, but I love the look of this in the background as well. Anywho, that was this little package. Can't wait to read your letter. And oh, I cannot wait to use these beautiful washi type stickers. I'm already obsessed. Okay, and I'm gonna put, I need to put everything aside. <laughs> I need to organize my, uh, the goodies I receive. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Chantala. Now, where did I put your letter? That's this, of course. I'm just gonna put that in here. Now, I'm going to pick one more from the week 29 pile because we already passed half an hour, which is pretty long. But we're just gonna look at one that I've been dying to open but haven't yet. As soon as I received this package, I knew it was from Emma simply because I don't know, I just recognize. I don't know, I recognize the handwriting. I'm guessing the name is not from the back, it's just an address. But I had a feeling this was from Emma, so I messaged her and she said, yeah, it's from me. But I haven't opened it yet. It's this adorable little box that she put a smiley on and then she told me that she went to the post office to get it mailed and the um, postal clerk, is it called postal clerk? Put the stamps around to make it look like hair, <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. Okay, I ended up simply demolishing this box because otherwise I would have had to pull this and that would have mean, meant damaging the stamps. Not gonna do that, but I open it. And the first thing I see is a little lolly <laughs> and something else. What is this hot, frothy, frothy instant chalky Cadbury? <gasps> oh my God, I've never tried that before, but Cadbury is by far the best chocolate brand I know. Oh my god, Emma. Oh, another lolly. <laughs> what a happy little package. What a happy little package. I'm sorry I dem demolished that, but I think I got it all. She said, I mean, it's too many lollies. Have to admit, I'm kind of a fan. One is orange flavored and the other one is strawberry. Look how cute and tiny these are. And then, oh my god, I'm so excited about that. It's been raining. Like, today is a sunny day, but yesterday was raining all day. And I swear. I swear I wanted hot chocolate, even though it's like 20 degrees. Mm. So I'm gonna try that soon, I promise. Also included are these little dried, little dried flowers, very beautiful. And I'm too curious to open this package because I wanna see what this is. Also, yay, we have the same washi tape look. It's one of my favorites. I've almost finished it. But what is this? What is that? Looks like a little shaker window. I'm confused. It's like chipboard. Um, I could definitely use that for a shaker, but I have a feeling I'm missing something. Quite possibly in the letter. First of all, oh, 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 that's too bad. I think the dried flower actually came from there. <laughs> but now there were like confetti in the box, which is also kind of cute. First of all, how gorgeous is that wax seal? Absolutely beautiful. Um, can I peel that off? Yeah, I can. I'd rather damage the envelope than the wax seal for sure. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's the flip book. This is a funny story. This is a funny story. I did a video a little while ago where I made a flip book with paper that looked just like that. And Emma loved it so much, she, she decided to remake it. So I had to print it paper and she actually had this. She made that herself, which I think is so, so clever. And she remade my look. Mine also said love, I think, or hello. I think it said love. 
and then I had some floral elements and oh that's adorable and I even wow I even had the a little stamp at the bottom from two hands holding a coffee cup and she re remade that as well like she recreated is what I'm trying to say that as well that's adorable Emma you're so creative okay first okay first 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 dear Vivian of Breda okay I just I want to read what these things are oh okay it's a very sweet note but it doesn't explain what these thingies are so emma you're just gonna have to tell me in the comments but i definitely think this is supposed to be like a a shaker window right i i, I feel like i'm going crazy am i missing something but this could definitely be a cute little shaker something a little see-through window maybe i'm just going crazy and it's something else entirely that i'm completely missing out on it's like glasses you can put them on your nose and see through them <laughs> i'm really glad you guys cannot see my face because that must have looked absolutely ridiculous anywho i might i have to say you have the cutest paper this little it looks like mailbox paper not gonna lie these little slots and then this adorable mini brad with this little flag that says from me to you here as well and it says just because oh oh that's so cute she has friends band-aids we're we were on a break oh, that's adorable one of my friends is literally obsessed with friends I'm not kidding when i say obsessed she's obsessed with friends so i'm gonna have to share those with her oh look at these pretty little patterned papers that is so cute and these and these oh mail tag see here's an example of a mail tag that I was telling you about before. <laughs> Emma, I was gonna make an example out of you and then it says, hey, that's all it is. Quite literally, just the tag. Come on, what else did you expect? I could make a request though. Please show us a picture of your parents' dog the next time you visit. Thanks. Because this is not actually an example of a mail tag, but normally this would have questions in here. Thank you for that, Emma. I will show you a picture of my parents dog. I think I already have since then, right? Didn't know you were such a dog person, but yeah, she's she's a cutie. She's a cutie. And then there's this little, little guy. This little guy with a little bear on it. And an adorable little washi tape sample. I love your use of brads. Here's another, a big heart-shaped brad. How cute. And this beautiful washi tape sample. The bottom one is so nice. I love all of them, not gonna lie. That is so cute. Cute little bear. Thank you so much for that, Emma. I I, I don't know, it, it sounds silly, but I'm just kind of glad that I immediately knew it was you. It makes me feel kind of proud, like, yay, I recognize that. And I'm also quite happy that you decided to send me the project. And in the letter she wrote, like, who better to send it to than the person who inspired it. And I think that's so nice. Very happy to be able to inspire you. So me and my hot chocolate are going to go now. I'm going to continue working on that project, hoping that the paint has dried. I hope you guys are all doing okay. I hope you are healthy happy and if not happy at least taking care of your mental health because that is the most important especially in these weird times don't forget to take some time to breathe read a book go outside for a walk write a letter um craft i don't know do something that makes you happy bake a cake for all i care mm. But really, and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Um, I try to upload new videos every month, every Tuesday and Friday, but sometimes I might miss a day simply because I've been kind of busy. But note that I'm not gone. And if you want to catch up on more of my life, uh, you can definitely do join the Patreon. Hmm. Okay, bye.